welcome you one and all to mission sk session 2.1 amino acid classification in this session we are going to see about how the amino acids are classified i mean the 20 amino acids classified into five distinct groups there are five groups in which all the amino acids are lie the five groups are based on the properties of hydrophobicity for example in the first group consists of non polar hydrophobic in this non polar hydrophobic uh, glycine arginine valine leucine isoleucine proline methionine lysine and the second group non polar and hydrophobic along with that these are all called aliphatic so the correct way to say is non polar hydrophobic aliphatic similarly non polar hydrophobic and aromatic and other two, other three amino acids are lying in this phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan what i'm lighting is the one letter code of that amino acids like two other amino groups the, the, the three amino groups polar uncharged polar positively charged polar negative charged these also consists of other remaining amino acids and polarity means it is water soluble means there is a difference between polar non polar hydrophobic and hydrophilic we a common uh, misinterpret like all things are lying in the same thing but there's a difference the difference is polarity is the tendency to interact with water at biological ph what is the biological ph the biological ph is 7 at this biological ph if a molecule is able to interact with the water it is called polar and in which that also we are classified into polar and charged polar positively charged and polar negatively charged whereas the hydrophobic or hydrophilic is just water in soli water soluble okay we should know the difference between polar hydrophilic similarly if it is water insoluble it is called hydrophobic okay fine let us see the remaining amino acids in this polar uncharged group the remaining amino acids are serine this polar uncharged serine threonine cysteine the serine and threonine are oh containing groups and cysteine methionine we cannot add that because it is in hydrophobic and uh, aspartic uh, aspartigin aspartigin and glutamine these all lies in polar uncharged and the correct way to represent aspartigin and glutamine of one letter code is n and q and similarly in the po polar positively charged consists of lysine and uh, arginine and histidine these are these three lies in that polar positively charged and i say here also there is a correct way to represent in one letter code uh, k r h uh, r is for k is for lysine r is for arginine and h is for histidine we should represent this one letter code it's very really important if you deal about the protein amino acids in the case of bioinformatics analysis okay fine in the positively uh, or a positively charged in polar we have seen about these three amino acids similarly negatively charged amino polar amino acids are also there for example uh, there those are acids aspartic acid and glutamic acid d and e the correct way to represent that aspartic acid and glutamic acid let us see the properties of one and one one by one amino acids i am begin with non polar aliphatic the aliphatic depends upon that r group in the glycine let me draw the structure of the uh, glycine as we have discussed before it consists of a c alpha carbon coo minus terminal and nh3 plus amino terminal and hydrogen and as it is an acryl means sorry it is not having chiral group so it is called acryl asymmetric carbon so this is the only one amino acid which doesn't make any contribution that much contribution to the hydrophobic where that is the characteristics of that hydrophobic amino acids or non polar hydrophobic we should include yeah hydrophobic and the second amino acid we are going to see is alanine in this alanine there is a small change from glycine we are having a methyl group and the properties of alanine valine leucine isoleucine and proline which i am going to see further are all making a big contribution to the hydrophobic interaction hydrophobic interaction and they will stabilize the protein structure st 
stabilize protein structure the second the third structure which are going to see is valin in this valin it's not a major difference it's also uh, extending from this chain means from the ch3 methyl group is gives rise to two other methyl groups that's the structure of valin and the leucine uh, is also using the two isomers uh, consists of this ch2 group if you observe here see that ch2 group which we seen in that last time is just here and in that leucine is both are here that's all methanol also belongs to this group hydro non polar if you contain it's a sulfur containing group it is sim similar to cysteine in that polar char uncharged group but um, due to the presence of this thioether this non polar thioether it is called as it is belong to this group non polar aliphatic group uh, this is the structure of proline the last amino acid of aliphatic r group and proline has a distinctive cyclic structure with aliphatic side chain and it's called an amino acid and proline will occur mostly at the end of the helix because it will form hing with the helix is that the structure of the proline there is no possible hydrogen bond with uh, for example this amino uh, n group there is no possible of hydrogen bond with amino n and co of the consecutive amino acid in the turn and due to that there is a lack of hydrogen in this amino group no bond is possible and it will occur mostly in the loop compared to other amino acids okay friends we can see the other four groups of amino acids of aromatic and aromatic hydro uh, non hydrophobic polar charged uncharged in greater details in the forthcoming lectures thank you